what's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel okay so one thing you need to know about me is i love to play video games from apex from call of duty and especially the new game marvel rivals when i first started playing this game one of my favorite characters was moon knight i just love his aesthetic and his abilities were so easy to pick up on and learn that's why i really wanted to make his helmet and his hood so where did I go? I went to Yo Studios who made this incredible file. So let's get down to the details. I really wanted to do something different with this build. With the paint job, and I wanted to add something special to it. So with the color scheme, I went with the golden moonlight skin. Now the only way you can get this skin is you have to make gold and ranked gameplay in the game. So if you look in the game, he has this really cool smoke that comes out of his eyes and I really wanted to capture that as well. So what I'm gonna do in this video is make my own vapor system as well. So stay tuned, cause you don't wanna miss all the cool details that I put into this build. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. So you might've noticed I've been absent from content creating and just needed a little bit of me time and time away from family and friends. One of the things I learned is that relationships of all kinds are complicated, which in turn can bring up a lot of questions that you might not have all the answers to. Like, why do I always feel like I'm not good enough? And why can't I tell them how I really feel? Why do all my conversations turn into arguments? Relationships aren't easy, and trust me, you're not alone. So stop asking yourself those tough relationship questions. My sponsor, BetterHelp, will connect you with a therapist who can help you find answers to some of these questions. Instead of being stuck in an endless loop of questioning yourself, you can talk through relationship concerns with someone who is trained to help you find the real answers. Fill out a questionnaire and you'll be matched with a therapist in as little as a couple of days. You can easily switch therapists at any time with no extra cost if it's not the right fit. They carefully make sure therapists on the platform are well qualified and their customer support team is there to help you if you have any questions. With over 7,000 reviews and a 4.5 rating on Trustpilot, BetterHelp is a platform you can trust. Going to therapy is a sign of strength, not weakness. There are so many kinds of relationships that can be improved by therapy, not just the romantic ones. Click on the link in the description or go to betterhelp.com backslash just G to get 10% off your first month of therapy.
What's going on, everybody? Voiceover G here. I wanted to stop by and talk a little bit about this painting process. So first right here, I already painted the mask matte black, but because I'm putting chrome, I had to do a gloss black. Now, I didn't know how to really use this new chrome. So I tried different things like this all clad gold. I didn't really like the way it works. So I had to do a little bit more research. Once I learned that if you use a 2K clear, you can use the ultra lumen chrome paint over that 2K clear and the results come out perfect. So this is where you see me adding the 2K clear. And what I really like about this 2K clear is that I can shoot it out of my air gun, rather my HVLP. I'll leave the link to this 2K clear down in the description below. After I apply to 2K clear, I go ahead and test out the ultra lumen again using a 0.7 millimeter nozzle on my, my airbrush. And I really like the way the results come out. It comes out just the right amount of chrome. If you do a light coat with this ultra lumen, it comes out an actual gold color. So I went ahead and did quick passes over the helmet to give it that light gold color. It's a learning process for sure. But once you do your test prints before you actually paint on your main object, the results are going to come back so much better. What do you guys think? Hey, I'm back again. But this time I wanted to talk about the fog machine that I put in the helmet or vaporizer, however you want to say it. So I got this idea from Kami Cosplays. I'm gonna leave a link to their video. They're gonna go into it a lot more detail than the way I am. I wanted to talk about what happened to me and my experiences. So the first thing that happened with me is I didn't test out the vaporizer prior to doing it. So I built a whole system before I even knew that it worked. Do not do that. Make sure you can test out the vaporizer first, see if it works. The problem I had was the poles. I was looking for the negative and positive poles, but the negative pole was actually inside of the vaporizer component. So I, I wasn't getting a completed circuit. Once I found that negative pole, I was able to solder the wires to it properly to get the vaporizer working. Just a mistake I had. It actually was a pain in the butt. So this is where you can see me testing it right now to see if it works. Super nervous. And I just wasn't getting anything out of it, nothing. So after some testing I did off camera, I was able to figure out the problem and test it again to figure out that it works. Now we just gotta figure out how we're gonna get this vaporizer into my actual mask. This has probably have to be one of the hardest projects that I had to do, even harder than my war machine, believe it or not, because I cannot figure this out for anything. At least with the war machine helmet, I was able to troubleshoot, find some other people online. With this, I had to troubleshoot all of my own. So after testing the vaporizer, I added a battery pack and a switch so I could control it and put it together. That's it. All right, what's going on everybody? So here's a quick update. I just finished the smoke machine, fog machine, whatever you want to call it. It was working super slow, so I had to upgrade the batteries a little bit. I did just run out, ah, there it is. So I did just run out and get a small 3.7 volt like LiPo battery 
that has 600 milliamps. Now this is well more than enough to handle it. The pump handles three volts, so 3.7, I don't think it's gonna hurt it. Uh, also, I went ahead and changed the switch. So before I was just using these like switches right here. You find them, I used it for my war machine suit to help open up the mask. I thought I was gonna be able to wear this mask and use like my chin or something to actuate the, the switch. But I decided to go with this just on and off switch right here. So it's just, you just depress it, it turns it on and off, it works perfectly fine. With the new batteries, let me tell you what, this pump pumps out some juice. Like crazy, this is crazy. This one keeps getting clogged up though, I don't know why. I don't know why it gets clogged up. But I don't wanna kill the batteries. That's just an update on the fog machine. I'm glad that works. I have the lights put into the helmet as well. So those are working pretty good. You can't really see the color that well because of the lights, but it is coming through perfect. So let's go ahead and put this fog machine in the helmet and then finish up a few extra pieces. I have to put the, the eyes into the hood and then we'll be good to go. So let's wrap this up, finish this so we can get this build done. See you when I see you. As simple as a build as I thought this was gonna be, it wasn't. It was super difficult. And man, where do I start? Let's start with the building process. When I printed the hood, I had to print it in three separate pieces. They were so large, they would not fit in my X1C. So I had to whip out the good, reliable Elegoo Neptune 3 Plus. But once I got it lined up perfectly, all it was was Bondo and sanding. A lot of Bondo and sanding. Inside of the hood, I went ahead and PLA welded it with a soldering iron. So up comes our next challenge. I already knew that I wanted to go with a matte black for the hood and for the back of the helmet so I can get that stealth look. But for the front, I already know I'm going with the gold color scheme. So I wanted to do a shiny chrome gold paint. I did not know how I was gonna go about doing this. So I bought all types of golds, chromes, and paints. But what I ended up doing was going with Ultra Lumen by the Digital Armory. You can find their shop on Etsy, and I did use the Digital Armory's chrome paint before. Now, after I had that cosplay eyes, I had to do something special. So I went ahead and made a vaporizer. Now to do this, I used Kami Cosplays on YouTube. I'll leave a link down in the description below. But they went through a detailed explanation of how you make this. And I'm telling you, it worked out perfectly. I had a few hiccups along the way, but once I was finished, I was able to get it to work perfectly. I'm super stoked at how that came out. It looks so good and it looks just like it does in the video game. So let me tell you about some of the things that I messed up on the helmet on. When I went with sizing the helmet, I did not factor in any of the electronics. 
So when I put it on, it's way too small in there and the back of the helmet doesn't fit. So what I did to fix that was I added an elastic strap and I put it around my head because of all the electronics. Once you put on the hood, you can't really see the back of your head anyway, so it fits perfectly fine. Inside, you can see all the electronics tucked in there. Here's the battery pack for the vaporizer, and at the bottom right here is the battery pack for the LED eyes. So that's the basic rundown of how I made this helmet. I'm super happy in the way it came out, and yeah, there was a little hiccups here and there, but we, we finished and we got it done. What other helmets or props would you like me to see from Marvel Rivals? I love that game and I would love to build another helmet feature in it. If you guys like this video and you found value, smash that like button and subscribe. Turn on that bell notifications so you know when I upload my next video. If you guys want to see an earlier build, when I built that Octane Wild Speed helmet from Apex Legends, go ahead and click on that video right here. Everybody have a great rest of your day. God bless y'all. Peace out.